Hey guys, so I just want to keep you up to date on Jay Station, his pending court date, and of course him coming back to YouTube. Luckily, I've gotten the download. He's actually a friend of mine now, and we have spoken in the DMs on Instagram, and we'll get into that on today's episode. But let's first smash 200 likes for YouTube's fastest news network. Also, if you haven't followed me already on Instagram and Twitter at Real Gotta Cringe, go ahead and do that. And the fact of the matter is, if you're not subscribed with the bell rung, then you are not up to date. Now let's jump right into it. All right, guys, so first of all, I'm sure as you already know, J Station has a court date that was coming up on March 16th, which has just now passed. I did my previous video saying and asking everybody what they thought, whether they thought he had actually escaped jail, skipped the court date or whatnot. I let you guys comment down below and let me know your thoughts. Nonetheless, we do now have confirmation that Ontario Canada, the Ministry of Health, has made the decision to actually postpone all court dates by 10 weeks. Guys, I'm sorry for the noise. I'm having tires put on my car right now. Brand new tires, four of them. They've postponed every single court date beginning March 16th, right when Jay had his beginning, for 10 weeks. So that means his court date will now be May 25th, 2020. And here's the proof image of what he actually sent me right here. All right, guys, as you can see, that is the proof. I will, of course, keep you up to date as far as what is discussed on that court date, what his punishments are, etc., etc. I've also been speaking with him. We are hoping, fingers crossed, he can come back to the platform very soon. That's all information I can give you on that matter. And I will, of course, keep you up to date on that matter as well. I hope you're all doing well. He says he's got some brand new, very exciting series coming out on his channel. I am very intensely studying his channel and excited to see what he has coming in the very near future. So I'm very excited for what this has to come. As far as his court date, I think he'll be okay. I think they may only put him away for maybe 30 days or less, if, he ha if any at all. Uh, because it is one person's word against another. No proof that he's done such a thing. Um, as to whether the supposed tossing of a phone at Alexia, uh, maybe he was trying to hit a different target. That's what I'm hoping. As, as far as grabbing her and tossing her to the ground, I hope she's confused in the head and possibly uh, that isn't what happened. You know, possibly she was intoxicated and they were wrestling on the bed. I don't know. I wish him the best and I hope he is given a second chance, not only on YouTube, but also with the legal system. As everyone deserves a second chance, it allows them to prove themselves to society that they are a caring and loving individual. Oh, Guys, of course, as always, I will keep you up to date. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.